Hi, welcome to Plaid Craft TV. I'm Kathy Fillion. And I'm Steve Piacenza. And today we're going to be taking some pattern tissue to make this quotable art. Stick around, it's cool. Quotable art is all the rage. Posters, framed art, even t-shirts and pillows, everything with quotes on it, and some of the most popular ones right now feature some of the British sayings. All like, over Etsy too. Oh, at, there's tons yeah. of independent artists doing this. So we wanted to make some quotable art that was sort of reminiscent of my grandmother. My, my grandmother was a sewer, a stitcher, she recycled everything, and so this quote, make do and mend, is perfect for her. Yeah. So to preserve her memory, we're making this frame with pattern papers and zippers and of course a quote that she would be proud of. She was absolutely one crafty lady. She was, that's where I got all my crafts. <laughs> so let's get started with this. First thing you're going to need is some pattern tissue and I'm sure a bunch of you have a lot of this laying around so we're gonna put it to good use. And I'm gonna plaid wooden frames just like this. So the first thing you wanna do is cut up yourself some squares, all different kind of sizes. I'm gonna just be working with these two just to show you the process right here. And we're gonna be using some Mod Gloss, some Mod Gloss Podge? How about some Mod <laughs> Podge Gloss, right? So, what you're gonna do is cover your wood frame. Just go right on top of your wood frame. Just like so. Just getting yourself a nice layer. And we're just going to be layering our tissue right on top. It's really as simple as that. Now what's great about this is we're not painting the frame. We like this wood grain to pop through the tissue. That's why we didn't paint it. If you wanted to paint it, of course you could. The lighter paint you use, you know, the wood grain still could come through. The darker paint you use, it kind of the grain would go away. But we wanted it kind of natural just to give it a very organic look. And then I'm putting the Mod Podge right over this tissue here, just covering it up, just like so. Keeping it very wet. And then I'm gonna add another piece of tissue right on top of it, moving it over just a little bit to cover some of that wood, but also layering tissue on top of tissue. That's what gives it that great look. Hold that up, Kath, would you? Yeah, you can see, see it. You get all the different lines in the patterns overlapping. And you know, you don't even have to worry about the wrinkles no. and things. Well, that's what's great about it. You can go in all different directions, all different sizes. And let me just show you, this is kind of what it looks like. A little bit wet, of course, you know, Mod Podge dries completely clear but as you can see i've just layered on top you want to work all the way around your wood frame and also right over these edges here to give it that kind of look and it gives it that nice sheen this the mod podge gloss gives it that nice shiny sheen so now we're ready to move on to the next step if you see in our finished design we've got a zipper flower now my grandmother was such a sewer so i think she would really be proud of this part of the project what we're using is zipper tape. You can get zipper tape by the yard. Mm -hmm, like this one here. And you can use that and just cut it into sections or you can get zippers and cut them up. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it. You can recycle it out of an old pair of jeans or something like that. For each flower, you're gonna need five four inch pieces of zipper. And I'm gonna use my hot glue gun helper. We're using all hot glue to make this. So what you're gonna do is take one of your four inch pieces and add a dot of hot glue to the edge and you will loop around and press and hold and that creates a petal shape and it's really that fast to do it you're gonna to want to make five petal shapes per flower and I've gone ahead and made them here and for the center of the flower we're gonna use a button you could use a poker chip mm -hmm. or, a, or one of grandma's old buttons that she yeah. had laying around right I know except for <laughs> I hoard them in a box. I don't let anyone use <laughs> those. <laughs> so I've got a button, a shank button. I've cut the shank off of it. And what you're gonna do is start on the back side of that, add a drop of hot glue, and you will just press and hold one of the petals right onto the button. And you'll continue around until the whole thing is covered. Add another drop. And you can kind of overlap the petals of hair. Now this is just one way. This is sort of a daisy. If you wanted to make a rose or a, a bigger flower, you can certainly use larger pieces of zipper tape. You can overlap smaller ones over larger ones. It's really 
This is just the basis for the project, so you can do it any which way. What about five different color zippers? <laughs> I that would be pretty cool. <laughs> like a rainbow zipper. Press and hold. One last dot there. Press and hold. And then when you turn it over, you see that you get this really cute daisy shape. I want to attach this to our frame, and we're going to use hot glue for that. I've got a couple other pieces of zipper tape, some red zipper tape, and we'll just take one larger piece, and for this I'm gonna just apply the glue right to it. And that's about a two and a half inch piece, and then I've got a two inch piece, and these will be sort of the stems of the flower. Press that down. And then I've got a longer piece, doing one on this but of course you could do as many as you wanted and this same technique you can use these same flowers to make pins or hair flowers or purse embellishments we'll add a big glob they are kind of heavy big glob there just press and hold and glue that flower into place now you can see we've got our flower down the only thing left is a little bit of trim around the edge yeah now we were gonna use just regular scrap trim but you know what we had so much zipper left over <laughs> we said let's add that to it very very simple we're going to ooh, let me put my hot glue gun hopper on don't want to get <laughs> don't want to get burned there. so we're gonna do start right here on the corner and we're just gonna add some hot glue all the way down let's go about six inches and then we're gonna take our zipper and I want the metal part to just line up right at that edge. It's such a cool way to use a zipper as a trim as well. And I'm just gonna press down and just make sure that's nice and secure. Let's flip that over, add a little bit more hot glue. Go all the way across. Just line it up. And at the home stretch here, I'm just going to add that straight across. Press it down. And one more little dab of hot glue right here on the corner. Seal it right on down. And there we have it. I think it looks pretty nifty. Now that you've got all of the trim around the edge, you'll be ready to pop in your own quotable art. For us, it was Make, Do, and Men, but you can customize this to whatever you want to say. For all the instructions and step-by-step -step guide, just visit our website at platonline.com. And don't forget about our bonus, Ooh. a collection box that we antiqued. Pretty cool. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye.